Hello, my students. I'm your teacher once again, Jacob Dixon, and welcome to another lesson in nonsense. And you can tell this is a new week because the word phonics, there's a peace sign on the O, and the entire word is encased in this nice squiggly thing there. And I'm wearing a brown shirt. So how do you like me now, ladies and gentlemen? This week, we're gonna learn a phonics scheme where two letters are put together and the sound they make. And they are hidden right behind my friend, Mr. Tissue. Mr. Tissue, can you help me out here? O-U. Now, last week, you learned that O-W makes the ow sound. This week, you're gonna learn that O-U also makes the ow sound. Doesn't matter with the word, okay? Let's start, give you some examples. This one here. Out. The opposite of in is out. This one here. About, right? This lesson is about O-U. Makes the ow sound, okay? Shout, shout, shout at the devil. Written by Motley Crue, ladies and gentlemen. Classic. Go for it. Check it out. Out, about, shout. This one here. Our. Something that belongs to us. Our time today is devoted to learning about the OU sound, which is ow. And if we put an H before our, a unit of time. Hour. There are 60 minutes in an hour. You got it? Ow, 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 ow. All makes the ow sound. And this goes regardless of the word. Now here's my favorite part. This is where I help you unlearn everything that you've learned from your teachers. All the bad habits will go down the toilet today, ladies and gentlemen. Check this out. This one. Taug. Okay? I know you were taught to say tough because of the G and the H it makes the F sound. That's another phonics lesson we'll go. But no, it doesn't make any special sound at all. This is taug, right? Same thing here. Raug. Mm -hmm. When something doesn't feel nice and smooth, it's raug. Not rough. Rough is the sound a dog makes. Rough, rough, rough. Raug, taug. All right? Now, let's put an H here. Vaug, right? Not though, it's vaug. And of course, we can put an A and an L here. All vaug, not although, all vaug, right? And let me get my notes here. There's so many of these that I want to share with you. Aha, this one. A lot of you are watching this video and you're probably thinking it to yourself, you know what? Enaug is enaug, right? It's not enough, it's enaug, right? Enaug. And it's not limited to all of these words that has the GH at the end. It also goes to these. Kalaur. For some reason, people in Great Britain and in South Africa, they like to add O-U to words that have O-R at the end. I don't know why it's confusing, but as long as you know that's pronounced kalaur, not color, it's kalaur, then you're fine. Another example of this here is this one. Neighbour. The person who lives next door to you is your neighbour. Okay, you can pronounce it neighbor, but that's only if you take the U away. But once again, my friends in Great Britain and South Africa, Australia, and New Zealand like to add the U there and change it completely. So it is the neighbor, okay? Neighbor, kalaur, and there's another one. Flavour. The flavour of this is delicious, okay? You can say flavor, that's if you take the U away, but if you add the U, it is flavour, okay? It's, I don't write the rules, ladies and gentlemen. You can thank Gordon Ramsay for that. That's his specialty. Flavour, ladies and gentlemen, and could you do me a favor?
fave hour. Sure, I could do a fave hour. Learn these words uh, properly. I'm, this is my fave hour to you, to help you unlearn the mistakes that you've learned in school. Fave hour, flave hour, nave hour, cull hour, right? And yes, there are lots more that I want to get through, ladies and gentlemen, but I can't because I'm running out of time. So, your homework this week is to put all of these sentences, no, actually all these words rather, all of these words, the ones that you have unlearned, into sentences and make a short speech and then a song and a dance, okay? And I will grade you accordingly. So once again, thank you so much for watching my videos, ladies and gentlemen. This is Jacob Dixon from Lessons in Nonsense. And I will see you next time. Take it easy. Bye-bye. I got 240 high tops, 460 laces As temp as I copped out the factory straces She came real basic, no smear on faces Kicked to crack shells, blue drinks and biscuits Then dipped in knock boots, but that's none of your business